Good morning, River of Life. Over the last few days, uh, one of the verses in Ephesians 1 has really just stuck with me. And I want to spend a few moments just encouraging you surrounding that scripture. In, in Ephesians chapter 2, Paul is just continuing this explanation of what Christ has done for us, that we were dead in our sins, that, but, but because Jesus died for our sins, we have now been made alive. But the verse that has been sticking with me is Ephesians 1 verse 19, where Paul is actually praying a prayer. And I want to encourage you to pray that prayer. He says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. He says that we need to grasp this. We need to understand this. I want to almost add, we need to grow in our understanding because all of us probably have a basic understanding of the fact that, yes, Jesus died for us. We were dead in our sins and our transgressions and he has made us alive. But to fully grasp that will transform your life. And that's what Paul prays for the church in Ephesus, that they would grasp this, that they would have a true understanding of this incredible great power that is available for us who believe. And in verse 20 of Ephesians 1, Paul explains that power. He says, it is the same power that raised Christ from the dead. That same power is available for you if you believe in Jesus Christ. It will transform the way you believe, the way you see yourself, and it will ultimately transform the way that you live your life. In the book of Ephesians, we're looking at these two themes that uh, the question of who we are, our identity is 100% linked to the fact that we are united with Christ. Because we are united with Him, something transformative takes place in our identity. And because of that change in identity, we are able to live a life that is worthy of the call. And in that mix, we want to insert this morning just this reminder again that the same power that raised Christ from the dead is available for us who believe. And may we have an understanding of this incredible power that is available for us. Let's pray that prayer. Father, thank you for this incredible work. But Lord, would you help us to understand Holy Spirit, would you work in our minds and our hearts and our spirits to grow in a, in a grasp and an understanding of who you are, what you've done, the incredible power that is available for us who believe. And my prayer is that everyone listening and everyone praying this prayer over the next few days will just grow in their understanding of this incredible work. The fact that we were dead and now we are alive. We are no longer slaves to sin, but we are free to live a life that is worthy of the calling that you have called us for. Pray, Father, that you would open up these good works that you've prepared in advance for us. Ephesians 2 verse 10, that we might walk in that which you have prepared for us to do based on our identity and our union with you. And we pray that in Jesus name. Amen. May you grasp this incredible power. May you have an understanding of this incredible power that is available for all who believe in Jesus.